Hello there YouTube, Devin here again, and uh, today I have another uh, boot review for you. And um, these are actually one of my favorite pairs of summer boots. Uh, they're combat boots and I really, really like them. They're probably one of my most favorite and one of the most comfortable pairs I own. And they're pretty cheap and readily available. And they're still made by a very significant number of countries. Uh, these ones happen to be Portuguese. And uh, these are canvas uh, jungle boots or tropical boots, hot weather boots. And uh, what they are is they're just uh, kind of a thick double layered canvas boot that's been uh, seamed around the edges. It's got little aluminum or, or uh, sometimes steel eyelets, uh, rivets in the wear points, and uh, just a molded on rubber outsole. Now uh, these became... Uh, I don't know if you guys know what Converse are uh, here in America. You guys tend to really like those here. Um, they actually got their uh, basis off this design. Uh, this design uh, started initially in France. Uh, shortly after World War II, uh, France uh, started having troubles in its tropical territories, uh, such as Algeria and uh, Vietnam and everything, and they were all rebelling, and they realized the heavy leather European combat boots didn't work so well in the hot jungle environments. It tended to give people trench foot and other stuff like that. So they needed to develop another boot, so they came up with this uh, design, essentially. Uh, there was tall versions that had the wraparound gaiters like you see on the um, uh, French Ranger boots and uh, the, the American uh, M43 double buckle boots, pretty much the same exact design, but in this style with canvas, and they made uh, ankle boots also. And uh, they came in a variety of colors, black, green, um, tan uh you can see uh a lot of countries still using this design Port uh, portuguese uh portugal sorry still issues the marines this exact boot right here um france still issues these uh tropical boots uh israel uses boots in both the low and high cut versions china uses boots like these vietnam uses boots like these still uh lots of countries still use pretty much this exact boot and this became the uh uh the basis for the uh, converse uh boot actually uh, the very popular American brand uh, is based off these designs, actually, for dating all the way back to the 50s. So, um, I really, really like these boots because they're quick drying, they're cheap, um, they're very durable, uh, they're very flexible, they're very comfortable. Um, they have a nice, thick uh, rubber toe on them, so you can't, uh, you'd think that little canvas boots like this wouldn't protect your feet very well, but this big toe cap on it, the big, thick rubber toe cap, really helps. Um, they're way thicker than you'll get on, like, the American Converse. Um, the tread on them is a, um, it's not super aggressive, but it's not super, um, uh, flat either, so it sheds dirt very well, it gets pretty good traction in most environments, uh, it does have a pretty, uh, thick rubber, um, uh, reinforcement here to keep the boot from being too flexible, um, but uh, it's a very cheap boot to make, and a lot of people really, really like these. This is size 44, which is what I wear. I wear a 43 or 44 European, depending on the manufacturer. Um, I really like these. I own a couple pairs. Uh, they're very, very uh, economical. They're very, very fashionable. They're very, very great in the summer. They breathe so well. Uh, they breathe better than most like tennis shoes, actually, because of how thin the fabric is on them. Uh, but they're also very, very waterproof, and they... Uh, they uh, dry very, very quickly. They do uh, let water in really easy, though, because unlike the American ones, which are, like, screened, they do have two drainage ports over here, but they're just eyelets that go through. Um, I also recommend you get insoles with these because uh, they come with just, like, foam insoles, and uh, they tend to squish down pretty quick. So uh, getting some regular insoles would help with these. Um, but I highly recommend these. I believe they're called the M64s in Portugal. Uh, but you can find... Uh, you can just type in... Uh, uh, Palladium uh, was the inventor of these, I believe. Uh, Palladium uh, boots uh, and uh, Israeli uh, hot weather boots. Uh, these are M64s in uh, Portuguese stock. Uh, if you're looking for a pair, uh, I highly recommend you get a pair. Uh, I know some of you guys really, really like the boot videos. And uh, I hope you guys uh, actually really, really uh, like this uh, video. Because um, I really, really enjoy shoes as well as helmets. And uh, would very much like your feedback on if I should continue with the uh, Boo videos or not. Uh, thank you so much for watching. And uh, hopefully I see you guys in the next video. Bye.